morning. We're going after some more bulls. Curtis and Meek share bulls together, so they've been with his. Now we're going down there to help him pull them off of his cows. They've been done breeding for 15 days, but they are still with the cows. So we'll go pull them, then we bring them right up and put them with our cows. First, we gotta go down, check the yearlings, a couple pink eyes, I think, and we gotta move them and lock them into the next pasture where they're supposed to be. We'll go from there over to Curtis's pasture. Alright, we made her down here to Wayne's, whatever you want to call it, pasture. This is where we got a group of yearlings. They're in the right the right spot now. We're rotating them, but I think they went back. Over there is a pasture they've already grazed, but there's a dugout and there's big shade trees down there. They go hang out there. But anyways, it appears that they're all back down here. Uh, we got some mineral. We're going to fill that feeder. We're going to check them for pink eye. Grab the gun and the darts and we're off. Here's a group of them. Um, see the other groups over on that hill, but I think there's 60 head out here or just under. We worked them in that one of them first videos. These are all kind of the rejects and the oddballs and stuff that had horns and just needed more time after winter. Run them on grass for the summer and that really straightens them out. We'll sell them here in probably before September 1st, I'd say the end last week of August is probably when we'll probably market these. The grass will be gone and then I like to let this regrow and then there's a hay field hooked to it so we'll bring a group of cat uh, cows and calves over here in the late in the fall. We'll graze that hay ground and then graze this pasture a little bit too. They were coming to the mineral feeder so I got away from them. I'm gonna come over here and shut this gate. And maybe they'll all hoard up around that mineral feeder and then I can get a good look at them. We've still got pretty good grass here, you know, but this, this is only about 40 acres or whatever this pasture is not, not real big. So we have three weeks or two weeks out of here and then calf's got some horns they're not super big but um, I kind of quit gouging a few years ago and I experimented with just a little tri band not the green bander and not a big ratcheting bander it's just called the tri bander and like this one you can see I already got it on there and I thought oh they're just gonna fall off kind of push it down low to the base as you can I didn't think it would work at all but I've done it for like three years on maybe like one or two a year everyone's worked so it looks like they're all here and, and everybody's doing good there's a couple of cloudy eyes or blue eyes but they're dry so that means they've got over it so yeah they look really good today i'm happy they're doing as well as they are well we made it up to uh curtis's pasture there's a farm site here and that's his daughter coming with the trailer she's got some bulls in there i think she's got three bulls in there and then there's four bulls in this group of cattle around the back side of this barn. So we're gonna get these cows rounded up and then grab these uh, four bulls and then add them to the three bulls that's in her trailer. Then I'll have seven to go home for today. There's a corral on the back side of this barn. So we kind of walked through the weeds, checked out what we need to do. Got it opened up down here in the corner. I got my pickup here for a little bit of a wing. We're gonna bring them in from right here along this fence, get them down in this corner. Get them to work in that gate, get the bulls in here with some few cows, and then uh, we'll go to work sorting the bulls off in there. And then there's a load out by the north side of the barn, and back a trailer up there. So we're just going to ease these cows up into that corner, and uh, like I say, see if we can't get a few few cows and then four bulls. We got them all spotted. 
we're kind of looking for cows too. Curtis wanted us to see if there's anybody limping or anything. So Cassidy wanted to walk, but I said, no, let's get a four wheeler. It's a lot easier. So, and it is a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure the bull's all in there. I haven't really left any, a ton behind it. They're all kind of wanting to suck in here, but this bull's kind of dragging tail. We got to follow him in. Yeah, let's just close that up and we'll let him just stand here for a few minutes and knock some weeds down and um, here we'll watch Cassidy work a little bit there you go that's it same bulls obviously as the calves that we have at home but see these would be 60 days to 80 days ahead of our calves so this is what ours will look like in 100 days or 60 days yeah they look good oh bud oh oh little guy oh there's three in here There's one more bull out in here we gotta go locate. Here he comes, right there with the white tag. let him go okay I think we got all four good Right on his side, right on his ribs on his side. There, just like that, perfect. Come on, dummy, let's go. Come on, Cuckoo, let's go. Shut the door first, then we'll get this, try to push the swing gate. Okay, barely hooked. There you go. Perfect. It's like Grand Central Station around here. Now they're getting a load of hay. And this gal's horse, she's got a few horses, so semi load of hay getting loaded in. They're hooking up this trailer to get it out of the way. I'm trying to back up to my trailer to transfer some more bulls. So I got my trailers bumpered up now. We got four on here. We need to get them across into there. No, three. Three bulls in the back here. These guys. There we go. You'll be fine. What's the matter with you? Go on, bud. Go on, bud. You're fine. these off in probably three different pastures anyways get some bulls spread out anyway this is the pasture we dropped that single bull off yesterday so we'll add three more the red three in the back with this guy and then I'm gonna take them four that were together that are in the front and take those out and put them with them heifers well, let's cruise out here and get them with the girls no oh, look at them they all got a little taste of bull last night they're all like, uh, yeah, give me some of that. How's that song go? Give me some of that yum yum chocolate chip honey dip. Can I get a scoop? Baby, take a ride in my coop. Dane will have to find that clip. Oh yeah. We'll go get rid of these guys with them heifers. I can't drive the trailer out to that pasture where those heifers are. I'm gonna dump these out here. They need to go up 
over that hill and then through a gate into the next pasture over a half mile so i'm gonna dump these guys out here and then i'll go home and get a quad and we'll uh we'll pick them up and then take them up there to that gateway make sure they find them girls Hopefully this bad boy starts. Right, Millie? Oh, money. <laughs> oh, them bulls are coming right there. They need to come right through here. I don't want them with these cows. They need to come through here and go through this. We'll take this wire down, move it over there, because I don't want them going out there. But, uh, yeah. temporary until we get this tank and water system set up over here coming right towards these cows we'll just kind of keep them going and kind of bump them a little bit to the tank but difficult was that <sighs> thanks for watching I'm done for the day catch you on the next one come here you want to piece them out peace <laughs>